Hello, my name is Daniel Fernandez. I am the owner of scienceinhydroponics.com and today I am going to be introducing a new project that we are going to be doing in which we are going to build a hydroponic system using unhardened PVC, a hydroponic tower. So through this video, we're going to show you how the system is going to be structured, the type of PVC we're going to be using, and we're also going to be painting this PVC to make it more appealing to the eye because it's a little bit ugly, comes in a pretty ugly yellow. So we're going to paint it to make it a little bit more artistic and a little bit um, easier on the eye. Uh, we're also going to show you the irrigation system of this tower, which will be a... <clears throat> aeroponic system so it will be using uh, sprayers through the tower so we'll show you how this is set up and we'll show you a test of the entire system so join us on this journey Okay, so I am going to show you how we built uh, this tower or how we started building it. We haven't done any of the PVC painting or anything that I told you we were going to do. That hasn't happened yet. What we've done is the assembly of all the structure. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure if you are recording a video, record everything you do because otherwise your editor will get pissed at you. <laughs> so. That's a step one, but okay. So the first thing that I, if you remember the entire idea is to build a tower where you connect, we have one branch here that then goes around and connects to another branch right here. So in order to do this, I needed to make two holes on a lid from my, this is the reservoir that where the hydroponic system is built. So this goes here. The tower goes here, and then we circulate water around the tower. So, I drilled two holes here. Well, drilled, I didn't drill them. I opened them with a Dremel. So, you know, a Dremel with a disc, with a cutting disc. So I opened these. As you see, measure once, cut twice. <laughs> measure once. 
<laughs> I, I marked several times, but finally I managed to get it all leveled. So the idea is we need to hook the PVC pipes onto here. So I got these flanges. So I have this flange, which is a two inch flange, and I basically put it here, put it here, and then this uh, seals pretty well. So you can just put it like this, and then you need to tighten it out. And then this has these two things which are meant to seal it tight when you have like a tank application or something like that. In this case, I'm not so worried about making it watertight because we are not going, this is not going to be pressurized, right? We are just going to do a sort of aeroponic system where we're going to atomize the water. So that's not so critical. Okay. So once you have it there like that, so now we have places where we can hook up the PVC pipes. So I have these, which is, uh, well, I don't know. We call these female adapters. I don't know if that's somehow problematic nowadays. <laughs> so we have, this, we have this adapter that goes on top of this one. So we can screw this on top. And if you get it right, yeah, you need to get the thread right and then I can screw it and you need to hold the other side because if you continue screwing without holding then you uncouple the other one. I am no plumber <laughs> but this is obvious. <laughs> okay so now these two are hooked and from here we can actually start with the PVC setup. So now we can start putting all our PVC pieces together and we build from here and we hook it up to the top. Okay, so now, what about the irrigation system? Well, we have this pump I bought, and it comes with these adapters that you can hook into it. So this is one of the ones that comes with it. I don't know the exact measure, but it comes with three of these adapters, and one of them uh, fits our purposes because the irrigation kit that I bought comes with this adapter that we use to connect to the irrigation line, which is this, uh, I don't know what's this, one sixteenth of an inch line, and we can connect these to the line. So these we screw here, these we just press here, and it's there, and then we can hook up this here. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm doing here is that I've hooked the irrigation line to all these basically sprinklers. They're like atomizers. They really don't sprinkle, but they atomize very finely. Have a tiny, tiny hole there. So what I've done is that I've put this one further up because this is gonna be the first one that encounters um, a, an irrigation spot. And then these will go all the way up into the system and back down the other side, like this. <laughs> so the idea is that we will sprinkle through the, we will atomize water through the entire thing. Now, an issue, if you can see here, is that the diameter of the pipe is two, two inches and the sprinklers plus the tubing is like two inches exactly almost. So if we atomize, then we atomize against the wall. So part of the um, issue in building this is to ensure that most of these atomizing points are actually close to these close to these Y spots, so that when you atomize, you actually atomize the place where the plant is and not like the wall of the, of the system. So I cut these lines so that this may happen. <laughs> so that it's supposed, that is the way it's supposed to go, but of course, it's not gonna happen. 
<laughs> so now in order to, this was all built before, so I took it apart so that you can see how it's built because I should have recorded everything showing you how everything is done, but I didn't. So now you'll have the pleasure to watch me do this again. So now I'm gonna push this thread and you're gonna see me build this entire thing again. So this is more or less the idea. So we have the system going all around with all the irrigation lines going around. And we have the drippers, some of them aligned, some not aligned. But as we have also uh, atomizers, sorry, here at the corners, we should have a good spread through the entire thing. So as you can see, it's a little bit crooked. So this means that I will need to cut some of these tubes so that it is even height each side. Some of these tubes might not be like tightly fit, uh, but once we fit all of these tightly and we ensure everything is cut homogeneously, it should be fine. <laughs> As you saw, uh, we built a hydroponic tower. We showed you how we painted the entire thing, how we implemented the irrigation system, and you saw sort of how the irrigation system worked. Uh, this fully assembled system will not be put into production, so we will be putting seeds into those rock wool plugs that we showed you. And well, we will be doing an update video next month where we'll show you how the seedlings uh, sprouted and probably with some time lapses, time lapses showing you the growth of the plants. And well, we will describe our entire experience with the uh, hydroponic tower we built. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video and bye-bye.